All right, well, his team isn't even in the finals and he was overlooked for the most recent AFL All-Australian team. But at last night's Brownlow medal counts, it was West Coast Eagle Matt Prittis who shocked the nation. I declare the 2014 Brownlow medal winner, Matt Prittis of the West Coast Eagles. The 29-year-old says he was overwhelmed after becoming the first player to win the league's top prize after being drafted from the rookie list. It absolutely is. It's, uh, it's obviously a huge, huge honour and um, something I'm very proud of. Joining us in the studio this morning is our resident footy guru, guru Michael Thompson. G'day, Tommy. Nice to see you this hour of the day. Morning, Tim. Yes. Now, I want to say this is a win that no one expected but you, my friend. Well, I certainly didn't tip him the Oracle. to win, but <laughs> I did have him as my roughie in the Sunday Times. And I think, I think most people thought he'd probably poll pretty well. In fact, yep. before the count uh, last night, I looked at what the bookmakers were saying, and they had him about seventh in line as to the one they expected to pick up the most votes. But, uh, look, he's not what you call a, a glamorous player. He's not the best mark in the competition. He's not the best kick. He's not the fastest. But he has this extraordinary ability to know where to go to get the ball, particularly when the ball's in close. He's incredibly courageous. It's, it's tough in there, in that engine room, where you've got to bounce your way through packs and pick up the ball. If they're going to bounce the ball, uh, he has an ability to get it. And when he played well this year, he played extremely well. There weren't too many players at West Coast who took uh, votes off him. Mm. So, no, look, he wasn't a raging favourite. But I think a lot of people thought he'll probably poll pretty well, but no one really expected him to win. Well, I think the bookies had him at about 41. Yeah, yeah. Going into last night's count. So he was right outside the top group of favourites. Yeah. A great story that goes with Matt Prittis, though, too. Overlooked in four drafts. I yeah. mean, he spoke a bit about it last night, but a real lesson in perseverance and dedication to any young footballer who perhaps doesn't possess all of those brilliant attributes, but yeah. he's still absolutely dedicated to making it to the top level. You know, I can remember going to watch some of the, the draft camps here in Perth and watching Matty Prittis... Uh, work his butt off doing the beep test. And I remember at the time it was his third attempt to try and get drafted. And people are saying, oh, is it worth it? Is it worth the effort for him? Because at that stage he was about 22, 23. Yeah. The word was maybe he's a bit slow, maybe he's not a good enough kick. It didn't deter him one bit. Incredibly determined guy. His work ethic is legendary at West Coast. Yep. Uh, there are stories, you know, that on trips they'd be away and they'd say, Matty, what about having uh, just one small drink of that or one <laughs> extra chocolate? <laughs> No, he's a very disciplined man, wonderful family man. Got a surf life-saving background, so he's, he's got a, a nice broad sphere yep. to, his, uh, to his group of skills. Uh, immensely popular with his teammates, and he works really hard, and he likes big game atmosphere. When the big games are on, it doesn't seem to worry him at all, and uh, he's a cornerstone for the West Coast. It's a great story, you're right. It's a great lesson for so many young yep. players. Don't yep. give up. You never know there's always a chance if the dream is big enough. And a beautifully humble speech and interview last night when he won the medal. He does uh, join uh, a pretty illustrious list of not only Brownlow medal winners but also West Coast Eagles yeah. who have won the uh, the top honour as well. Yeah, hey, look, he's, he is very humble. I spoke to him yesterday afternoon actually and uh, said, look, you're my roughy uh, uh, Pritter and he said, oh, I feel really embarrassed about <laughs> sort of being up there. And he's, he genuinely... He was it. shocked, was It's he? not this, yeah, it's yeah. not this sort of, uh, oh, gee whiz, woe is me, but you really love it. No, he really feels that way. Yeah, Chris Judd and uh, Ben Cousins, uh, two outstanding, two of the greatest players that we've seen play here in Western Australia. Uh, we've also had Graham Moss, we've had Brad Hardy, we've had Ross Glenn Dinning win Brownlow medals, West Australians. So uh, yeah, he joins an illustrious group of players to win the Brownlow medal. And today, Matt Prittis, you can stand very proudly. Um, he arrives back in Perth today and we'll be talking to him later on today as well. To his 23-week uh, pregnant yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, and he's already got another child. And uh, as you'd expect with Matt, he was talking about you know, his wife and he was thinking about her on his big moment. But he'll return home. The number one player uh, in the country, he's got the Brownlow medal around his neck. No one can take that away from him, so I think it's a fantastic thing. Mm. The club is over the moon. They're so pleased that someone like Matt has won the award. So we should say, quickly say, Nat Fife. You've got to think about uh, Fifey. He yep. ended up missing four, four matches, so almost a fifth of the season he didn't play. Yep. He was only one vote away, even though he was ineligible. So phenomenal effort by Nat Fife. And Buddy Franklin was also up there. He was, what, three votes behind. So three West Australians uh, figuring so prominently in the it's voting. We, we must be doing something right. You know, some of the cynics say, oh, we've got to get this right. We do things pretty well here in the it's West. It's a pretty good endorsement for, for WA footy. Absolutely. Mm. Great and, win. And he also joins that very exclusive club of, of being a Sandover medalist too. Yeah, well, it's so and hard to do load. now. And his, his misfortune in not being drafted at a young age was, in fact, I think, a blessing because he, he did what players used to do in the old days. He played through the waffle from about 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So he was able to win the Sandover medal 
and then take the next step. Yeah, look, we won't. I don't think we'll see it happen again. It's uh, um, Hayden Valentine's won one, uh, so Ballas maybe he could win. Maybe a, maybe he could win a Ballas, <laughs> but it gets tougher because players tend to get drafted a bit earlier. But he was one that got through, and I think that's why everyone thinks it's such a great story to see a guy who's not probably not the most fashionable, not not the most glamorous player in the land, but uh, today he's the best. Absolutely, Tomo. I can't believe it. We're getting a wind up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we could talk for us. <laughs> yeah. no, nice to chat with, and look, on a, on a great occasion, great day for WA football. Absolutely, good stuff, Tomo. Thank Thanks, you. Mate.